Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Mad Tea Party. We hope you're ready to spill the tea. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Derek. And my name is Ryan. And today we are catching up on some magical mail. Catching up a lot. We've been gone a while. Yeah. Well, school year has been crazy. We had a show that we did. We also did have time to film for a birthday, though. Yeah. Made sure of that. And then right after all that, I got the plague. So. Oh, yeah. We're back. So we are here. We have some things that we have traded for. We have some things that we have purchased mm -hmm. and we have some things that we were shopped for. Yeah, some of it's been here so long that I don't remember what it was. I know I had to look through to remember, but I think I know where we should start. Cool. So these first two that we're gonna show you are completers of sets. I know. And we purchased them both because it took too long to find them. That's so. I went on eBay and found um, one of the best priced I could, and that was still pretty good. And I finally completed, I'm so excited looking at it, the Tales of the Sword. And I should say Tales of the Sword collection. It says, keep your chin up, and it is featuring Mr. Robin Hood. There he is in all his glory. I adore this collection. But sweet old Robin Hood, you never, you never can fail with this guy. If I was a real video editor, I would go back to all of our videos and cut clips of you saying "Swords of the Tales of the Kingdom of the Sword." I know. The I the keys to the kingdom. keys of the Tales of the Keys, keys to the kingdom. It's been everything. Look, you've got it right. By the time I know got the last one, Tales of it. the Sword. He knows it now. Oh, sword, sword. <gasps> I think it's time to move on from the Tales of the Sword. We were so close. Um, next up, we have another pin here. I actually don't know what's in here. Uh, oh, you're going to be really it. excited about it. Oh, cool. This was a purchase from eBay. It's on cardboard, and I'm luckily... It's on the opposite side that I'm not looking at right now. Um, and this is one that we have been trying to complete, I think, for over a year and a half. And purchased the originals in park... Oh and then kept trading and we now have the final piece we actually did a collaboration when we opened these with disney mertz and yes uh, he didn't get very many and we got a lot more yeah and we neither of us got this one and no one has wanted to trade it we've actually i haven't seen this on like anyone no and do you know how many of the top because this is the top piece of the boot mm -hmm. it's shaped like his boot um that piece alone was it wasn't expensive but there's only like one of them on ebay that's cool i can't wait to i'm gonna put a picture in here what the whole boot looks like together yeah! i feel like it's because it was one of the few limited edition puzzles um, knows for the 15th anniversary, um, limited edition of, oh no, it's just limited release. I lie. Liar. I lie. But I do love that it has the 15 on the back. For the 15 years that it's been since Folly came out. Who's the character on that one? Um, it is one of the cleaning robots. I always thought it was Bernie, but Bernie's on another one. Um... I don't know this one's name, but, either, but just wonder. You know, this next one is a trade from Reddit from Danielle. Thank you so much, Danielle. Um, I had posted my traders on someone else's traders, trying to trade for trade to blah 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 blah, and she reached out and said, "Hey, I really like the those two pins you have. Would you trade with me for something?" And we recently put together our Pixar board, which that boot is on and is finally going to be complete today. And I was able to get this, that's right, I thought so, Disneyland Paris oh. in. I know, I don't think you've even seen this yet. Here is the world of Pixar pin featuring Lightning McQueen and Woody and Dory. And I couldn't pass it up when she showed, when it was on there and I decided to look it up and saw it was Disneyland Paris. And I will, I've already admitted, I, um, I'm i starting to collect more and more Finding Nemo because I'm directing it this year. So it's slowly finding its way. I don't want a full collection, people. We'll see about that. But small additions to my uh, collection on the Pixar board is great. Plus I thought this was a nice centerpiece kind of pin to bring them all together. And it's Disneyland Paris. 
Um, this next one is a package that we're not really sure about. Um, we both went back through all of our emails, all of our like Reddit messages on my end, all the Facebook messages on Ryan's end, and we received this package around Ryan's birthday. But yeah, inside are two pins that we both would love. like. We both love them. But we don't remember but waiting we, for them, and we don't remember how we've obtained them. We're hoping that they're from somebody here, and that you can write down here and tell us that we're not crazy, or that maybe we talked about this and we forgot. And the, it's possible that we traded with these people, and we got rid of their, uh, like, deleted messages while cleaning out or archived. Yeah. Or if one of our friends gave out our address to get these gifts to us, yeah. thank you. So if we're you're just, Ashley, and you sent us this package, please... Please let us know. Let us know. Um, that's... It's so funny. There's no note. Um, yeah, we've even looked up the name, and I, we don't know anyone's last name. I barely know my own last name, but you know. and they're coming from New Jersey. That's that Ashley from New Jersey. If you're out there, let us know. And also thank you. And also thank you because wait, till you see these pins. All right, so the first one we have here here is Meriwether in the dress that would look better if it wasn't on her. That's because it's on you, dear. <laughs> um, I love this pin, and I love. Uh, this scene, it's my favorite. So thank you, Ashley, and whoever you are. Also, if we owe you a trade that we forgot about, let us know. Yeah, please tell us. Because this, we feel bad. We'll send it. This next pin um, is from 2002. Pin trading started in 1999. And this is an LE of 3,500. And y'all, it is Jafar as a snake with a moving head. It's really cool. So here he is, and his neck moves to like attack. Like, it's insanity to me. And I don't know. He's just so cool. And that's a great. It showed up in the mail, and I'm embarrassed if it was a, something that we didn't do on our on our end. But also, thank you. Um, if this is a gift, thank you. Let us know. If Let us be. know so we can fix it. So next up, this was a pickup from our friend Abby, because she is the best. Thank you, Abby. And we, we do know who this one's from. Thank you, yeah, Abby. <laughs> please, we do. Thank you. Uh, she sent along a map. Yeah. It's an Epcot map. It's very exciting. We're I actually going to be there in about two weeks. So call us. Um, this makes me... Happy. I'm excited because Some reading material. it's food and wine, and we are... I'm excited about the food. I looked You're at the probably menus. excited about the wine. <laughs> yeah. I looked Other at the drinks. menus. There's a lot of great desserts and that, a lot of great drinks. So. I forgot about the, the drinks. We'll be vibing. I'm be excited. Um, since most of you may remember, or if not, go back and watch some videos. We ended up getting annual passes this year. And this is our first trip back since the summer. Like... This is the first like unrealistic feeling one where it's like we're just gonna pick up. We're gonna just start picking up and going. Yeah, we're close enough where we can drive, and I have fall break where I just have two a four day weekend. So, so I I made it a three day weekend for me so that we could pick up and go. So Abby has included some adorable stickers. I love this Christmas Aurora. We've got Cinderella here. All is masquerade. masquerade. We've got Aurora, and then we've got this gorgeous. Bell almost, almost done. done. Almost done. She loves reading a book. She sent us pencils. Oh. I love, oh, they're Easter too. That's really cute. I love it. Our favorite colors. Well, my favorite. Let me not speak for you. Um, oh, this must have been on the outside. Oh, oh, oh. It was, I might have opened it before maybe. I don't know. But Tiana's head is ripped off. Oh my Tiana God. was close, closing it. And I was just like, why is Tiana headless? It's because her head's on the other side. Okay. We're good. <laughs> Sorry, Tiana. Um, but this pin is very exciting. I have been waiting for them to release this Bicoastal Adventures pin. Um, this Bicoastal Adventures set is a pretty cool idea. Um, so what it is, they all of the rides that are featured in both Disneyland and Disney World, they are releasing pins. I think it's a monthly thing. Yeah. Um, and so this one features Disneyland on one side and Disney World Mad Tea Party. Um, and they are actually pretty different. And I didn't really realize that till a couple years ago. Also, I saw a really cool video on, uh, maybe it was Instagram the other day, and I just have to tell everybody about it. It was um, on the Alice in Wonderland dark ride yeah. in Disneyland. 
as you know, when you get on the ride, it's open. So you're still like looking out, like outside to the outdoor. Um, and the first thing you do is you go into like a cave and that's like the rabbit hole. As some people were on the ride going into the rabbit hole, Alice came running up and was like, no, no, don't go down that rabbit hole. No, no, I no. Was and then she was like, as she watched them go, it was so, I sent it to you. You need to check your Instagram. It's so funny. Ah, if I can find it, I'll post it here. But this pin is so cute and it makes me want to go ride the Mad Tea Party there and then also ride the dark ride and hope that Alice comes and chases me into the rabbit hole. The only other one that we got so far is my favorite ride, Space Mountain, with oh, Chip and Dale. Yeah. So if you happen to watch and if you didn't, go and do it right now or after this video. Last week was Ryan's birthday and he got a surprise box that he had no idea what was in it, honestly. And there were some other purchases made when I bought his stuff. And we're gonna show it to you now because one of them is mine. Do I know about these? Yeah, you oh, do. Okay. You do know about these. So like more these, basically, Pink Alamo Mode had two pre-sales that we wanted. Mm -hmm. um, and then there were some Alice in Wonderland pins that you saw last week that um, there was a bundle, but then there was also singles that, that we enjoyed, mm. but they had a spend this much and get this much off. So basically I could have bought just the two pins that he wanted or said he liked from Alice in Wonderland and the two pins I was planning on or get all of the Alice in Wonderland pins in a bundle, get money off and pay the same price. So I did that. <laughs> so that is what we have here first. One of them you've already seen before because we've purchased it, but it's going to be a really good trader. Yes, it is. Um, it was included in the set, so it just came along with it. It is this gorgeous Oysters with Glitter pin. If you're interested in trading for that, get us up. Also, we have this adorable Cheshire cat. Oh, I love that one. Here he is, just hanging out. This is part of their, like, I don't want to say chibi series. They're kind of chibi. But they, they did a, we, what did we get from it? Because you saw some live ones. I have a, I got Pocahontas and you got... Not Hercules, because I've seen Hercules on there a couple times. I got someone who was super cute. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Wreck It Ralph. You got Wreck It Ralph. Did I? Yeah. I'm pretty Where sure. is he? This one here also came in the set. It's super cute. It is Alice with one of the flowers. She's kind of in that little chippy style. Too. It gives me a Tim Burton feel though with her yeah, eyes. Her like eyes her really eyes are very, very large. Yeah. I don't love the chibi styles. Well, I like these ones. I don't, yeah. the style itself for all the characters I think is kind of weird. Some of them just don't work. I do think it works on like, Alice. Hercules looks a little too cute for me. Yeah. Um, I think the Mary Blairness of Alice yes. lends it to being which, different styles, which I think is helpful. Here she is. There is our girl Alice, and she is just lifting up her little skirt for a curtsy there, I bet. Um, but I'm sure Ryan is going to make a choice whether or not he wants to keep these. They're part of his birthday if he wants them. Or if you are just wanting to see our trader board, some people have asked, Find us on Instagram and message us there, and we can send you our traders. Yeah, I am planning on keeping those little chibi ones, but... um, Oh, the oysters then will go up. Yeah, I'm planning on it, but on the show, send me something crazy. Who knows? If you really want them, hit me up, and we'll see. We'll talk. And the final one, um, we bought two... Well, I bought them, because you didn't know what's happening. Um, two three-inch pre-sale pins of old men. Basically, I just realized. Um, I know, right? <laughs> One of them, uh, apparently, um, we got Daddy Triton, which we opened last week, and that one was for Ryan, but also Daddy Triton. And then I got this horrible, mean old man, as he calls himself. Merlin. There's my man right there. And this pin is really cool. It's got some soft enamel with, or not soft enamel, but some like fill inside that gives it this really cool blue kind of see-through feel with these stars back behind it. And his hat is so big, it comes off the side of the card, which I always love when something like that happens. So, Pink Alamode, every once in a while, hits it out of the park. 
I really like the color of his robe. That blue is his his so his pretty. detail is actually real. It's one of the better detailed Merlins I've seen mm-hmm. in a long time because his face is kind of detailed. That older animation I feel like had a little bit more had a little bit more roughness to its lines. Who knows? And this last package here is from our friend Sarah over in the UK. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah, an amazing trading partner. And also, the Royal Mail goes a lot faster than the USPS. Also, you're my hero. Um, oh! It's taped to it. I always love when there's a surprise! <laughs> and it's got a little Luca card on it! <gasps> oh, that's so oh, cute. Oh, okay, well, um... Thanks for the trade, and thanks for this adorable card! I love that, but... That says, happy birthday, Ryan. Sorry, wait, it took us a while to open this, Sarah. Let's look at our trades first. Cool. And then, and also purchases, because what Ryan didn't know was that when I was purchasing this first pin, I was also getting him that paint jar The you know, I can't do names very well. Jars of magic. Wonder of paint, Colors paint. of magic, I think. There you go. Some, I could sit on a Disney team and just come up with names, and an AI would probably beat them anyway. But <laughs> your names never stick, because you always call it something different. So I don't know if that's the job for you. <laughs> I'm really... Oh, I'm going to have to take this off the backer once I show it to you. This is technically a Halloween pin, because it's got a Halloween backer, and I didn't realize one of these small details. Look at this. In one video, we now have two snake Jafars. This one um, just showed up on our U.S. Disney store, but it was not for a very long time. So Sarah picked this up for us, plus they get a better rate on their pins. But you might be able to tell this is actually stained glass. And I didn't even realize Iago was on this pin until I saw it up close. So red. And it is, let's see... It is an LE of 1,000! Here's my boy Javar with some kind of cauldron in between him. <laughs> and I'm assuming that all of this over here is just boiling out of the cauldron. <laughs> but super cool pin. I can't wait to add them to my board. Thank you, Sarah. So I just discovered um, that... And I flipped him over. I don't know where these came from, Sarah, but y'all, that first card I showed you... Um, these are Luca trading cards. I'm going to have to look up this company. Um, they make me very, very happy because they're just images from the movie. Look at Machiavelli all ready to pounce on you or go to sleep. Luca going down the hill. Da, 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 da. Oh my gosh, that looks like they are on a beach vacation and candid shot. Oh, I love these. I, what I like about them is they're not shots from the movie. They're almost like made up shots and it looks like they're on vacation. Why am I imagining you carrying these in your wallet like they're your children? I would, you, you wouldn't be surprised if I'm not going to do that. Spot him somewhere, y'all. Ask him, can I see what's in your wallet, sir? I don't know what it is about this movie, but it just tugs on my heartstrings way too much. All right, next up, this pin. I cannot believe I'm holding it. Uh we actually saw a few from the series when we were in Orlando and almost I almost purchased one and then didn't. And we might have to go back when we go in a few weeks to see if it's there still. I regretted not getting this one after we were there. Here it is. Um, we got it from them. We just had to. We couldn't resist it. I'm not sure no longer. how they get into these amazing pin trading events. Yeah, yeah or we do have some sick game. And we, if they're, we never asked. We just... Well, Sarah has told me they have, like, pin trading events they go to. We just love your connection. I'm assuming that they have somewhere near you just, like, a communal, like, a community group or something. Yeah. Huh. Huh. It's even prettier than I thought. Show it. Show that off. Oh, my gosh. It's giant, first off. So this Chef Special series is really cool. Um, I actually almost bought the Chef Louis one at, uh, it's not Whitey Pins in... Uh, Pin nope. HQ. Pin HQ. Um, this is so cool. This is obviously her making that amazing cake that she makes in the movie. One cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. What the? Oh, cheese, good. 
the green glitter in the back is just astounding. I will tell you, of all of the chef specials, there's only maybe one that we're like, eh. So we probably will be grailing these for a while. Yeah, there was, oh, because uh, Luca one Massimo, was really good too. I was about yeah. to say, Massimo is the one I passed so up good. on. All right, so when we got um, the traders from Sarah and Bella, we, um, they always have great things, like we said. And they always have something from, and I can say this name now, Disney Studio Store Hollywood. Um, and I had this actually on my wish list that I was going to send for Christmas. It's so pretty. And then I saw it on their board and I was so glad they, they agreed to trade it because I don't know if you know this or not, we were also in a production of Little Mermaid. Yeah, and not only Beauty and the Beast, we, we also did Little Mermaid. Once. We don't talk about it that often, truly, yeah. but I was Scuttle and Ryan was Chef Louie, which is why we want that Chef Louie fan. Oh, no. But they put out these 30th coral reefs of the characters and they're like reefs like christmas reefs though and here's my boy scuttle and oh my gosh he's so cute they do have a 30 up here for the 30th anniversary and it is a stained glass pin um i'm guessing it's an le of 300 that's normally what there's are four, 400 on this one but look at that beauty right there such an amazing pin and I don't have a very, very large Scuttle collection. Um, he's just kind of like locked in with my sidekicks, as is Cotsworth. Um, but I, I love this pin more than I thought I even did. Um, it should be pointed out, it is pin on pin. The second pin is just like the colored backing, which is really cool. Disney Studio. Or, oh, sorry. It always gets it right. The front pin is the Coral Reef. Oh. And then Scuttle and the Stained Glass is the second pin. Disney Studio Store. Blah, 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 blah. I do know what it is, though, at least. Disney Studio Store Hollywood. Now, the last thing, Sarah and Bella have attached a birthday gift, it appears. It says, Happy Birthday, Ryan. That's really nice. Um, on the inside, Dear Ryan, we hope you had a fab birthday. Best wishes for the year ahead, Sarah and Bella. And thank you again for helping sneaking things into the country. Well, not sneaking things into the country, but sneaking things into my mailbox. This just escalated really quickly. I know. <laughs> What's going on here? Um, thank you, thank you. Um, what is this? I hear jingle jangles. <gasps> what is this one? <gasps> Did you even know that one existed? I don't think so. I had no idea. This is even better than the last one I got. What was the last one? The last one was Painting the Roses Red. Yes, and that one was really beautiful, but this is even better. Oh, Sarah and Bella, you have outdone yourselves. Oh my gosh, it is dopey with the gems and Grumpy is inside of the jar and I cannot get enough of that. Um, this magical um, collections was, I think... Pretty exclusive to just the UK's Shop Disney, or Disney Store. No, we have them in Did, ours. I think there might be a specific one uh, they get, but... We just never get them on... In fact, Disney Store's pins have gone away. Yeah. Pretty much. But this pin is... Gorgeous. They're in parks. This is so pretty. Um, oh, I love it. This is the best. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. It's going right to my Dopey collection. What a great birthday gift. You guys are the best. Thank you. You too, Bella. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you're having to be curious about our other content, make sure to click on the subscribe button down below or off with your head. And if you enjoyed this video, which we really hope you did, please give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Yeah, leave us a comment down below which of the pins that we got in the mail today was your favorite. I know the question is coming. Why don't you answer first? I actually, I'm going to name two today. The Fauna Chef special is... And also that dopey jar magical collections pin was also just so Sarah, you killed it. Thank you. I'm not gonna double up on yours because those were amazing. I'm going to say the Robin Hood sword, Tales of the Sword. Oh, fair. So that um, because that completes a collection. But also watch me do three. I also a third one. My Jafar, both Jafar pins, because one was expected, but more beautiful than I expected. Plus, the extra care of sending it across the ocean. 
but also the one that was a surprise that I have no idea. And still, if, if that's you, please let us know. Yeah, I also would like to add the Bicoastal Adventures pin because that is also cool. So thank you, Abby. Um, but at this point, if you want to hear us talk about all of them again, you should just watch the video again. We don't need to keep talking about them. So if you um, either want to trade or have a connection to good pins, um, let us know on our Instagram. Um, we are always available. Yes, spill the man tea party, baby. Yeah. And we hope you all have a golden afternoon. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later. If you don't care for tea, you could at least make polite conversation.